In this quick video, I wanted to show you how easy it is to create a single document that contains all of your exhibits and they come in hyperlinked and bookmarked. So they're easy to navigate in trial or easy to navigate as you're preparing for your trial. So first of all, you'll see I have a folder full of exhibits and what I want to do is combine them all. And there's a couple of ways to do this, but I'm just going to go straight to Adobe Acrobat. Now I'm using Acrobat Pro. This should work with standard as well. This happens to be Acrobat 11, but it works with 10 and DC. So what I want to do is under File, I go to Create, Combine Files into a Single PDF. Now when I select that, it's going to let me choose which files I want to combine. So now I'm going to go back over to the folder that I had open a second ago and simply drag and drop all of these exhibits into my Combine File panel. Now what happens is it's giving me a list of all of the exhibits and this is the order that they're going to appear. So I tell it to combine the files and it goes through and it will tell me when it's successful. And then it brings up the what it's calling a binder. You'll want to rename this to be whatever is meaningful to you. So we can see if we click on the bookmarks over here. Now all of my documents are in here bookmarked by their specific exhibit number which was the file name that we uh, named them before we combined them and you can see how easy it is to be able to navigate in trial or as you're preparing for trial also makes it easy if you're you're uh, adding exhibit stickers you can go in and actually you know exhibit sticker the first one go to the next document and so forth if you want to set this so that it comes up full screen this is the full screen tab that I have activated in my menu bar that's I like to set it as the default because that just makes it easier if you're in trial and you're trying to navigate you don't want to have to be zooming in and out all the time there's a quick uh, way to do that I can select all of my bookmarks by holding my shift key down and selecting the top one to the bottom one and then what I can do is tell it to go change the properties of all of these so here's my little properties box I go into actions it's sounds complicated but it's really not um, all you have to do is add a menu item and it will come over here and pull up a whole list of things that we can do now with these uh, bookmarks what we want to do is we want to set the page view to be um, fit the page to the height sometimes it depends on which version you're using it will also say fit to page but fit to height we, we want the whole document the height of the document to fit inside of the zoom window so once I select OK I can go ahead and hit alright and now all of my documents will be coming up in the full page mode right here and then while we're here, let me show you how to make a sub bookmark. So let's say that on this next page, we want to zoom in on that actual uh, section. It's super easy to create a bookmark that zooms into whatever you want to show. So let me go ahead and, and zoom in to where I really want it to be showing me once I go to my bookmark. Now I get it centered. I can highlight or annotate. Let me go ahead and just put a box around this quickly so that you can see what I'm doing. All right, let's say that's what we want to show in the courtroom at some point. What I can do now is I can tell it to add a new bookmark, and that's what this little tab is. It's the one next to the trash can. So when I do that, it's giving me a new bookmark. I'm going to call this uh, page to Zoom for lack of anything better right now. And now, as you can see, if I click to my first page, there's my exhibit, the first page of this exhibit. If I go to page to Zoom, it's going to take me directly to that zoomed in portion and we can just continue down the line now one thing that I like to do just as a final uh, tip here is I like to nest the exhibits that go with particular or zooms or uh, screenshots that I have that go with particular exhibits so I can click and hold on this bookmark tab and then drag it over underneath this particular exhibit so now I have a list and you can go through and um, go ahead and just identify like key contract sections or whatever sections you know that you're going to want to use in trial. You can go ahead and just stack them underneath your exhibit and then just quickly navigate uh, when you're in trial.